Hello Aries and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin and Aries today we're gonna do a what you need to know right now style reading. Let's see what you need to know right now. Let's talk about you. Let's see what messages come through. Let's see if it's silver lining, something being hidden. Let's see what you need to know right now. Well, well, oh well. You're gonna be happy, happy. We're in a Pharrell song here. You're gonna be happy. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's making you so happy, baby. Um, but you're happy because you're following your crown chakra. You're following your North Star. You're following your intuition. You're living true to yourself. And when you're living true to yourself, it creates happiness and comfortability in your life. So let's chat about you, Aries. Let's see what's going on. And Aries, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. And just remember, Aries, my readings are $30 Canadian, and I send them in three to five business days. Whoa, okay, wow. That's a very clear message. What you need to know right now is the strength in reverse. How it's going to affect you is the star. Okay, okay, smoke a same card, right? I was talking about the crown chakra, the north star here. Um, all right, and actions or advice here. Seven of cups. Okay, and there's the four of cups. Contemplation. So you're. I feel like... Coming into this reading, you're in contemplation mode, right? Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups is a decision to be made. Um, the Four of Cups is a reminder to get into hermit mode, to make that decision, to trust your intuition, to trust your inner gnosis. But the strength is in reverse. So you're a little anxious. I feel you know what you want to do. You know the decision that you want to make, but you're worried about that decision. What do we need to know about that worry? Why is the strength in reverse here for Aries? What do they need to know right now about this? The sun. Don't the worry, be happy now. <laughs> I love that song. Okay, it's the only song my son lets me listen to while we're playing cards. He hates my music, <laughs> but he likes Don't Worry, Be Happy Now. Okay, so the judgment, the emperor, my son's an Aries. Speaking of the emperor, that's funny. Okay, so um, what I feel is with the lovers in reverse of strength, the son, the judgment, the emperor, first of all, five major arcanas here in this what you need to know right now. So this is a big impact on your life. This is a big decision. That's what judgment is, is a huge decision in our life. The emperor is you, um, but this is going to make you happy. The sun for me is always Aries and Leo, but it is Aries energy because you're the sun. <laughs> you're, you know, the spring equinox. Um, so the sun is always Aries energy for me. This is going to make you happy. Being worried, being anxious, not having the courage or the strength to go after this, letting fears potentially stop you, you know, the fear of striking out, preventing you from playing the game um, is not what's in your best interest. The lovers is in reverse. So, you know, fears, worries, anxieties, it's all part of life, right? We're always going to have them and it's our job to discipline them, to transmute them and to allow our intuition to guide us as opposed to our fears. So this is really having the courage and the strength to go after this because I know you want to. I can feel it in the cards and this is a big impact on your life with these major arcanas. Um, but there's fears and there's worries here stopping you. And what they want you to know right now, that does not benefit you. What benefits you is going after what you want. Because how it affects you making this happen, how it affects you making the decision to go after whatever it is we're talking about for you, Aries, brings you into the star. Wish come true, dream fulfillment. This is, you know, again, vulnerability, following your North Star, being authentic, being true to yourself. And when you follow that energy, you always end up happy. You always end up where you're meant to be. So this is a card of also the card of inner alchemy, right? Transmuting these fears into something positive, your fear into courage, anxiety, resentment into love passion so it's an energy of alchemy of transmuting these fears and not letting these fears stop you from going after this because it's going to create your wish come true it's going to make you very happy so you're going to like how it plays out and the advice of what you need to hear here aries is the seven of cups and that represents moving forward without having all the answers it's the hardest thing in my opinion and my personal tarot readings the biggest question i get is how is this going to play out what's going to happen you know that's we all want to know that um, but unfortunately, we can't have those answers when we make our decision. We have to trust our intuition because if it doesn't work out the way we want it, there was a lesson that you needed to learn in order to get where you want to go, right? And we have to understand that process, respect that process, and value those lessons and experiences. And the message here is to move forward without having all the answers, without knowing how it's going to play out. It is making the choice to be true to yourself, authentic to yourself, go after what you want, and not doubt yourself because true, you know, another point of manifestation and making things happen is you have to believe you deserve it. If you don't believe you deserve it, or if you don't believe it's going to happen, it creates a little ripple with a little rave, a little bit of a rip here in your force, um, trying to manifest. So it's an energy of believing in yourself, believing in the choices that you're making and know it's going to happen the way it's meant to happen and trusting the decision that you're making here, Aries. And that's what you need to know. 
right now. <laughs> so let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And uh, we'll go back to the tarot. Now, there could be a job offer or an opportunity that's being offered that's creating this uh, big decision in your life. Um, because, you know, but... When we, if that's the case, and I don't think it is for all of you, but if that's the case, it's divinely guided because when we see these clouds with these hands coming out of the sky in the Rider Waite Tarot, it represents a divinely guided, it represents the universe presenting something to us. So the Mother Sophia, the divine source, the creator, they wanted this opportunity for you. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. What do you need to surrender to here to make this decision? Frustration. Yeah. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you can approach the situation more calmly. And the lesson here for uh, Aries here. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. You've just got to learn from it and allow it to propel you where you want to go. Energy Oracle message for Aries. Talk to us. Oh, financial constraints. There could be some money concerns. Okay. When one comes out of the deck, the message in the book, I've always believed it. I always will. Let me get your message here, Aries. Hold on. Okay. So money could be tight at this time. So rein in your spending and be circumspect about the financial requirements in your life. This is not a time of indulgence. So be aware of what's really important and consciously choose your expenditures. There's a big difference between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take care of your needs and bide your time. Things will get better, but for now, be willing to live more conservatively and always value the money and the good things that you have. Because when you value what you do have, you're in the abundant mind frame and you're going to pull in more abundance. If you're focusing on what you don't have, you're in the lack mind frame and you're going to pull in lack. Okay, so let's get back to the tarot, Aries, and let's see what other messages spirit guides want you to know. Let's see what you else you need to know right now. Whoa. Nell it. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Damn, Wheel of Fortune in the, in the star. This is fame and fortune. If some of you are on that path, that's definitely... Oh my fucking God, Aries. Don't be doubting yourself or questioning yourself here. Holy shit. The Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Just marvel in the beauty of these two cards, shall you? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is very clear. Don't shoot the messenger with what I'm about to say to you, but damn, this is everything you have ever wanted with the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So do not let your fear, anxiety, worries, or, or obstacles from the past stop you from going after this because this is your ultimate happiness. This is bliss, what they're saying here with this Three of Swords. And this deck, this Three of Swords is the card of self-sabotage. It would be self-sabotage. It would be hurting yourself. It would be going against your best interest, not making this move, not taking this opportunity, not making this decision and going after what you want. So the, 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 and there's, they definitely don't want you to stop, let your fears, worries, or anxiety stop you from making this happen here. Cause I feel you might regret it. Um, and regrets are difficult to deal with. We want to learn from that experience, but we don't want to miss out on an excellent opportunity. And this is an excellent opportunity. This is more than you could have imagined. This is better. This is everything you ever wanted, Aries. So the whole point of what you need to know right now is to go after this and make this happen. If there's financial worries about that, you know, go after the funding, look for loans, or just become the budget king or queen and really bide your time as things progress forward. Because that's only temporary. It's not forever. This is where you're leading to. The wheel of fortune, ten of pentacles, star, wish come true, dream fulfillment. You got to make it happen, baby. You got to make it happen. The whole point of this reading is to go after this, whatever that decision is, Aries. So that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So Aries, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Aries. I always, always, always appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question, shall we? Yes or no? What's the answer for Aries? No, that's what I got. Aries, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.